The rising floodwaters of the Mississippi River are now said to be threatening 10 percent of Louisiana's onshore oil production. 150 of the state's oil and gas companies are now preparing for flooding. Bloomberg's Brian Sullivan has been covering weather for our energy markets team for the past three years. He joins us live on the phone from Baton Rouge. Brian, thanks for joining us. What's the latest? Um, well, within the last hour, the uh, governor, Bobby Jindal, um, came out and said that people should expect the Morganza floodway to open this weekend. The uh, Mississippi River Commission and the Army Corps of Engineers still hasn't made a decision on opening the Morganza. But it, when the Morganza is opened, and it's likely that it will be opened, the water will rush into uh, central southern uh, Louisiana and uh, flood quite a large area. Uh, Brian, just give us a sense. Are, are we talking about flooding on a catastrophic scale? Uh, this area was designed to be flooded, um, even while it's been designed to be flooded, many people have moved out there and they live out there. Every year the Army Corps of Engineers sends them a note that says, you know, someday the, you know, the day may come when we open the gates and let the water come down. Uh, it's, it's a very large area and it will take, to give you an idea, it will take three days for the water to leave the channel where it's diverted from the Mississippi to get to the Gulf of Mexico. So, Brian, talk to us about the effect that this is going to have on the state's uh, onshore crude oil production. The um, best estimate right now is there are about 2,264 wells responsible for about 19,000 barrels of crude a day uh, that are out in the area that could be flooded. Um, 150 companies are preparing for the flooding in a four-parish area in the southern part of the state. So it it's, uh, has a pretty big impact. Uh, Brian, before I let you go, I have to ask you about evacuations there because, you know, in floods past, whether it's Louisiana or Missouri or other places, sometimes there are some people who just don't want to heed the warning and they want to stick it out. Can you give us a sense on how the evacuations have been going so far? Well, the governor... Um, sent out the sheriffs and the National Guard to go door to door to tell people to leave. Um, I drove around that area the last few days. Many of the houses, it's interesting because you come into a, a place where there's no water at all, but you find these houses that are 10, 15, 20 feet off the ground on stilts. So I think there are people out there who, who are going to try to stick it out. Uh, and, and again, I'm, I'm sorry, it, it dawns on me, I, I got to ask you because you know the casino industry is really big in Louisiana. Obviously, some of those casinos had to shut down. What's that mean in terms of income for the state? Um, it's going to have an impact. Uh, it's even had, well, up in Mississippi, for instance, um, where they've had to shut down 17 of 19 casinos uh, this week. They've lost about $13 million in taxes, according to estimates. You know, and all of this is coming down into Louisiana. The local casinos here in Baton Rouge are still operating, but the Coast Guard may shut them down because they're all you know, they're floating casinos. They're basically boats just that are tied up to the uh, shore here on the Mississippi. Bloomberg's Brian Sullivan joining us on the phone from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Brian, thanks so much. Appreciate it.